Hey everyone, I'm here today to give you a little tutorial on how to spruce up ring binders by pasting comic book panels onto them. Now this one here is for my Transformer comics, the binder I keep all my UK Transformer comics in. Obviously you can do it for binders you're using for work or college, whatever. Now for this you're going to need the binder itself, a load of old comics, scissors, paintbrush, some PVA glue and a tin of this spray-on liqueur. And I'm going to be doing the back of this binder because I've already done the front here as you can see. So, first you want to get a load of old comics. These are ones I've had since I was a kid so they're all ripped up and tattered and I've since bought better copies of these to replace them with so I thought I might as well use these for this kind of project because no one's ever going to want them because they're so torn up and ripped and you want to go through them and just pick out all the panels that you like the best really any pictures that you like you could use the front cover to put in the middle and then put other images around it so you just flick through them find what you want so get any little panels you want and cut them out around the edges They're better off doing this with comic books that have more of a glossy shine to the paper. Some older comic books were printed on that more kind of tissue type paper, but uh, that don't, they don't tend to look so good once you've PVA'd them down and put the, uh, the protective layer on top because the dampness just soaks through them a bit too much. So try and find comics that have pages that are the, the glossier kind of paper. Now I like to get uh, multiple issues and cut panels out so that you haven't just got one art style so you've got panels from multiple uh, stories and different artists I just think it looks more interesting to sort of mix mash them together uh, and also have the panels be different sizes too I just think it makes it look more visually kind of striking and interesting then when you cut out enough pieces you want to get your folder and just to kind of experiment with where you want to put them It doesn't really matter if some of the images overlap each other, I don't think. I think it kind of adds to the uh, cartoony, comic booky kind of vibe to it. Then once you feel like you've worked out where you want to put them all, take a picture of it on your phone just so that you remember because you're going to have to take all of these off again to apply the glue to put them back on. So now you want to apply the PVA glue, not too thick, but make sure you get it all covered so there's no dry bits there to cause air bubbles. And place it on. Doesn't matter if it's all that straight really, and if the pictures overlap each other. And now once you've completed this and put all the pictures on that you want to, you want to leave it to dry for a good few hours, if not until the next day ideally. 
you know, leave it a good 10 hours, say, for this to all dry off. And then we're gonna put another layer of PVA glue over the top of this to give it a layer of protection. But before you do that, you wanna make sure that the glue that's already on there is dried, otherwise everything's gonna to get too wet and start to wrinkle and bubble up. Okay, now this is dried nicely, we wanna get another layer of PVA glue over the top of it all. Now the reason you want to do this before putting the spray on is that if you apply the spray directly to this it will soak the paper too much, it makes it too wet and that ends up uh, causing some of the white parts to go clear so you can see the print on the other side and it makes the colours go dull so you really need to put a layer of PVC on first, uh, PVA sorry, on first, only a thin layer. I've seen people online who put a really thick layer on top, but uh, in my experience, you get air bubbles that dry underneath the glue, so you've got little spots kind of dotted about on there. So I'd recommend just putting a very thin layer over the top. And then once you've done that, leave it once again for quite a few hours to make sure it's properly dry before you then spray it with the liqueur. Now you can apply this process to pretty much any hard surface. As you can see here, I've got a before and after on a wooden stool that I've done it to. The only thing I did differently is I put a few more layers of spray on this because I'm going to be using this to stand on and to eat my dinner off and such. So I needed it to be a harder wearing surface. But with the folders, I think one layer of spray is enough because you're not going to be standing on them or putting hot dinner plates on them or whatever. You just need enough there so they don't scrape each other when you're putting them on the shelf. Well, now the PVA glue's dried, we're going to give it a spray over with this. Don't need too much, you don't want to soak it too much. You could give it a second coat if you need to, but really one should be enough for this. It's just so that when you're pushing the folders onto your shelf, if you've got them all like three or four in a row all pressed together, you don't want them to rub against each other and end up catching and peeling the pictures off. So I'll leave that to dry now. So that's pretty much job done. Now here are some I made earlier, I just thought I'd give you a look at. Um, with these ones I've actually used the front cover of an issue of the comics and then just put the panels around the outside. Another one here because I've got four folders full of the old Transformers UK comics so I had plenty to play around with. I've done the front and the backs of all of them. Just back at this one. Now this is the one where I didn't put any PVA glue on and I just sprayed directly to it and it doesn't show up quite as much on camera but the colours are faded and you can see where it's gone a bit see-through where it just got too wet so that's why it's important to put that layer of PVA on. And the last one once again is another one with a, a comic book cover on the front and panels around it. It's quite fun to do, it feels satisfying to have uh, created something like this, as simple as it is, and it just spruces up your, your folders of bits that don't look quite so bland and a little bit more specific to what you're keeping in them. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful and uh, you'll have fun making some of your own. You could do it to tables, shelves, anything you fancy really. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time.